Engine oil inspection and replacement. Inspection. Always wait a few minutes or more after stopping the engine before inspecting engine oil level. The oil pump circulates engine lubricating oil throughout the engine while it's in operation. Then if we take the oil that was in the valve train in the cylinder head when the engine is stopped, it's easy to see that it would take a while for the oil to move down into the oil pan. Even the oil on the upper wall of the crankcase, where it's much lower than the cylinder head or closer to the oil pan, would take a while to drop down into the oil pan. In other words, it takes quite a while for all the lubricating oil to return and collect in the oil pan from different sections of the engine after it stops operation. This tendency is even pronounced if the lubricating oil is fresh. Therefore, you must always keep this in mind and inspect lubricating oil level after waiting for a few minutes after stopping the engine. Now, more than a minute has passed since we stopped the engine, so let us inspect the level of the oil. The dipstick is used to inspect the lubricating oil level. First, pull out the dipstick and wipe off the oil from the entire stick. Then insert the dipstick all the way back. Pull the dipstick out again and see how much oil is stuck on the tip of the dipstick. If the oil level is anywhere between the upper level mark and the lower level mark, as seen in this case, the oil level is OK. Oil level should not be below the lower level mark but it should also not be higher than the upper level mark. Be careful not to put in too much oil when filling up the oil. Next, put a drop of oil from the dipstick onto a piece of clean cloth or paper towel and observe it carefully. Check to see if the oil is contaminated with soot, metal particles, or other substances. If so, it would have a black appearance, rather than being opaque or stained. If you see whitish contamination, as if milk has been mixed in it, the chances are that coolant has leaked into the oil. In a severe case, you may notice a significant rise in the oil level, far above the upper level mark, in addition to the milky appearance. If this is the case, investigate the source of this contamination. When the oil is contaminated, it may not appear to be black or milky, but it may appear to be foamy. Foaminess is a sign that the oil has lost its lubricating properties. The engine oil needs to be changed. You can use your fingers to test the condition of lubrication oil. If it feels as if it's not viscous enough, or it's watery, change the oil. Even if the oil does not appear to be contaminated, nor the color looks to be dirty. Never mix brands or grades of lubricating oil. If you do not know the oil being used in the vehicle, ask the owner and make sure to use the correct oil to fill up with.